Well, these pictures are quite likely to be familiar to anyone who has had a young HPR. The dog will retrieve, often keenly, but their hold on the dummy is too light. They have poor picking up skills, causing them to drop the dummy too easily. And the swinging dummies create an attitude from the dog that is too playful. All this results in a retrieve which is useless to anyone with the ambition to work their dog, either in competition or in the field. You're back. So how do you move to getting a perfect retrieve that you can depend on for a puppy working test, for instance? And also, how do you know that the work you are doing is taking you towards a soft mouth for retrieving birds in later work in the field? Well, the first thing to say is don't accept poor work. As long as you accept the dummy without consequence, it will continue to be delivered in this way, and allowing any habit that you don't want to establish will make for endless mistakes going forward. Every time there is a poor delivery, place the dummy back in the dog's mouth for a repeat presentation. If this is done every time, the dog will learn to pick the dummy centrally. Regularly popping a dummy in his mouth, giving him the hold command, giving him praise, keeping him relaxed, like Mavis here, wagging her tail, there's no stress. And move yourself around with the dog, prove to yourself that they've got a good hold on it and they're not going to drop it. Good girl, good girl. To increase oh. the dog's grip on a dummy, oh. move it in their mouth while repeating hold which encourages them to increase their grip. This is not a tug of war, but a gentle movement. I don't want the dummy. I'm telling her at the same time to hold it. Her cue yeah. is the word dead, and only on that cue, she opens her jaws and gives the dummy to me. I never take it from her. The pressure I put on this one-year-old dog in this session was considerable. Yeah. You can see that she's lost a little yeah. bit of her verve. But as long as you assess your own dog accurately and don't overdo it, these are the days when they can learn a lot. And this is what happens if you overdo it. The dog will lose interest, sniff around, blink the dummy, and refuse to work. Good girl. Come. Come. Good girl. Good girl. Yes. Good girl. Here the session is drawing to a close. I've got two dummies that were put out which she hadn't seen. I don't want to be throwing every single dummy as a scene retrieve. And the running lane keeps it simple, but she's got much more energy going out, is enjoying searching for it, and that's much more interesting for her than a boring short scene retrieve. Get on. So Mavis's reward was a bit of hunting with a final retrieve from a stop whistle. And she finished on another perfect delivery and she's enjoyed herself. So through all this work, the important thing is to keep your dog as a willing partner. They will need pressure at times to get things right, but be careful how you gauge this. He has to want to do the work to ever be good at it. Good luck and enjoy your dogs.